I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, I'm delighted to introduce you to a wonderful author. His name is Lewis McCall, and he has written a very insightful book. It is called World Upside Down, The Life of Paul, God's Chosen Messenger. This compelling work explores the transformative journey of Saul, a fierce Pharisee, into Paul, a devoted apostle of Jesus Christ, and his profound impact on Christianity and the world. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank the team at Atticus Publishing for helping us put him in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support writers like him by subscribing to our channel. Lewis, thanks so much for being our guest today. Thanks, Logan, for having me. I'm glad to be here. My pleasure. My pleasure. Why did you decide to write about and explore the life of the Apostle Paul? Well, Logan, I felt uh, impressed to do it. And to, to be honest with you, initially, I didn't think that I really had the goods to write such a book. But I continued to have that urging. And so what I did was I looked for what I would call confirmations that I was on the right track. And having received those, I began to do it. Wonderful. In World Upside Down, you dive into Paul's transformation. What do you believe are the most pivotal moments that changed him from Saul into Paul? Of course, the most pivotal moment was his encounter on his way to Damascus by the resurrected Christ. It was something he hadn't expected, and uh, it just turned him around. Uh, and, and that was the thing uh, that made him uh, be able to wear the title Apostle because the others that were apostles had been with Jesus. And this was his uh, ticket punch to be in that community. Do you feel Paul is Jesus's most impactful apostle? I think the Catholic Church would argue that with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because they say that... Uh, he founded uh, the church. He was Pope. But there is no indication in scripture that peter was the first one to be in rome it very well could have been paul and in fact you'll find places in rome that mention those two apostles together wonderful now your book discusses paul's special miracles and his role in establishing churches can you share how his early actions helped shape or reshape christianity well there was a, a clash really of not only cultures, but of religions. Uh, the main clash for Paul was in taking the gospel to what were the pagans, the Gentile world, but also in witnessing to his own Jewish brethren. Uh, there were some that uh, thought that, okay, there is this new way uh, that Jesus brought but we still have to keep all of the laws of Moses. And, and what happened was that those people who I would call Judaizers, they were supposed to be Christian, but they wanted you to keep the law as well. Uh, they would follow behind Paul and try to undo his work. Interesting. Now, there is Jesus, of course, as a um, spiritual figure. There's also Jesus as a historical figure. And the same thing is true with Paul. I mean, whether you believe that, you know, Jesus was the son of God or not, and Paul was his uh, disciple or apostle, uh, these were people who did live approximately 2,000 years ago. Beyond the scripture, what did you do to research Paul's life? Well, I went to some of the places where Paul uh, ministered and passed through, and I included my own photographs of those places in the book itself. Mm. Um, and so he, he ranged far and wide, uh, I think more so than the other apostles did. Um, I have a map included in the book, which a professor in Florida graciously allowed me to include in the book because it's his map. And it covers those places that Paul went to, uh, not including Spain, which is not in that map, but it's the best map that I could find that show the area that he covered. When you were um, researching Paul's life, 
Was there anything you found that surprised you or changed your mind or made you look at things differently? No, Logan, to tell the truth, there was nothing that made me look at things differently, but it's caused me to uh, even more appreciate this man. He suffered a lot. And in, in one place, he, he wrote about that, about how many times he had been shipwrecked at sea, how many times he had been beaten, uh, how you know, being stoned uh, in prison. He did all of that, and he suffered several plots by assassins uh, and ultimately gave his life. And so I was, I was just impressed by his dedication. Paul, along with all of the disciples, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not a theologian, but they were all either murdered, crucified, or killed um, following the death of Jesus, correct? I am not a theologian either, Logan. <laughs> However... <laughs> <laughs> the, one disclaimer. That stands, the one that stands out is John. Uh, according to historical records and church history, uh, it's not written in the Bible. Um, Paul uh, was, uh, they tried to kill him by boiling him in oil, mm. uh, but he did not die. It mm. didn't, it had no effect on him. And so he was sent into exile on the island of Patmos. So uh, you might recall, or, or I'll just say for the audience, that uh, before Jesus ascended into heaven, Peter asked him, pointing at John, what about him? <laughs> and Jesus said, what's that to you? If I should have him continue to live until I come back, you take care of Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And now, as, it turns, as it turns out, uh, Logan, they both died at about the same time. And in the book, I use my literary license to have them be executed at about the same time uh, and, and meet in Rome. So I was able to draw in a number of uh, historical and Christian characters into this book. How do you think uh, Paul's teachings and journey will resonate with uh, modern day believers and spiritual seekers? Okay, uh, I won't limit it to modern day believers, but I will say this about some female believers. They think that Paul was a little bit off. <laughs> <laughs> they mistake some of his writings about the role of women in marriage and women in their widowhood or being single. Uh, that was part of the culture. But listen, Paul, and it's brought out in this book, he really elevated women. He added women to his regular touring crew. <laughs> uh, he put women in charge of churches. Uh, and uh, they supported his ministry, just as the Bible does record that there were some well-to-do women that supported the ministry of Jesus with their wealth. What do you hope readers will learn about faith, perseverance, and transformation from Paul's life that you detail in your book? Well, in his own words, Logan, Paul said he was the, the chief of sinners. And the point was that if God could show mercy on him, who had done the things that he had done, and use him so bountifully and miraculously you have no excuse <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly lewis mccall has written a wonderful book an insightful book it is called world upside down the life of paul god's chosen messenger in this book the author explores the journey of saul who turns into paul a devoted apostle of jesus christ lewis thank you so much for joining us here today on spotlight thank you logan it's been a pleasure Pleasure is all mine. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight.